That's right, everybody. It's about that time. You are now rocking with the best. This is the boats of Bitcoin, the Cristo of crypto. It's your boy, BK. And if you don't like me, you must not like money. Listen, guys, I got a, a nice, uh, nice episode for you tonight. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about market psychology and how just by understanding uh, the motivations of money, you know, and, and how people think about money, how the market thinks about money, you know, we'll be able to make a lot of money together. It's not a real technical episode. You know, I will have uh, a table of contents together for you guys. And with that, uh, hopefully you'll be able to see, you know, track track across time as we go across the different uh, pictures I go through. Uh, real quick, just from a high level, um, on the on the market right now, it's not looking very good. Um, if you do have any of these three, I'm recommending that you hold them. These are Ripple, Litecoin, and Dash. Um, everything else, for the most part, uh, is pretty uncertain. Um, so I'm not recommending that you go on the market uh, and buy anything right now. I'm not recommending that you sell all your Bitcoin right now and just wait, you know, seek. I heard one person say they're seeking refuge in USD. I'm not saying that. I will never say that. I think just the simple fact of you having the reason to convert over to cryptocurrency to try to seek financial liberation is reason enough never to seek refuge quote refuge in usd so don't don't think i'm telling you to sell everything and you know just go back to the way that things were and let bitcoin bitcoin fall to 200 dollars. i'm not saying that but what i'm saying is right now it's very uncertain even if you turn on cnn or uh, bloomberg and look at look at a uh, wall street's performance it's a very uncertain time um and and so getting into that one of the things i wanted to discuss with you guys uh is the psychology of the market <clears throat> um when you think about uh the stock market in the crypto cryptoverse right uh the economy of bitcoin it is billions of dollars there are millions of people involved and so with that uh, everybody is individually motivated. Everybody wants their own financial incentive uh, to continue to be involved. And so as humans, we have a fairly predictable um, psychology path that we follow when we deal with money and when we deal with our feelings. Uh, over here on the early part on the left-hand side, you have, you know, uh, you know, uh, better feelings, um, for lack of a better word, uh, excitement, thrill, euphoria, anxiety, you know, and then as things kind of start to get worse, um, you start to become more concerned, fear, desperation, panic, depression, optimism um, at the very end, like you hope for a better day. Notice it starts uh, and ends with optimism. So even when things are at their darkest hour, you still hope that they can be a little bit better. Um, before uh, you ever get to feeling better, you are hoping uh, that you can feel better. So again, this is somewhat of a self-fulfilling prophecy. So it's very important to always understand or at least have some type of idea uh, where the market is with regards to psychology. Uh, this is one chart that I shared uh, in a previous discussion. Uh, it talks about um, the stock market specifically and, and how uh, our feelings are more or less conveyed through the price. Again, if you think about uh, the market, it's buyers and sellers, all of them individually motivated, all of them uh, self um, you know, benefiting. So they are acting in their own best interest. So therefore, their feelings will uh, help you understand how uh, their interests are. And right now, I feel as if we are somewhere right around there we're between euphoria and complacency and we really don't know which one all we know is that bitcoin tripled in the last uh three months it went from one thousand dollars you know right in the beginning of march april to uh three thousand dollars about two weeks ago uh that's unforeseen um so you know when that was happening a lot of us were in thrill and euphoria and now you know we're either in complacency and a few of us are on anxiety so you know we're kind of at the top of this pyramid and that's why you know i have that logo right there kind of that uh that one logo we've all seen in a few different places because that's the moment of time we're at. 
in the market. And I'll show you how uh, we can gain the advantages that those select few people have uh, in a few moments here. Real quick, just to look at the market cap uh, capitalization, just to show you guys, you know, it's right now we have uh, Bitcoin is 40% uh, dominant, a hundred billion dollars inside the market. Uh, that's huge. That's about 40 billion inside of Bitcoin. That's a lot of money, guys. Um, but as you can see, you know, it's a lot of red on this chart and it's not limited you know, to new coins, young coins, old coins, small coins, big coins, you know, a lot of these uh, cryptos are losing a lot of money. A lot of people are becoming more concerned uh, and they're letting uh, these negative emotions kind of, you know, dictate where they put their money inside the market. So one of the things I wanted to share with you guys, uh, this is kind of a synopsis of a chart that I put together um, in one of our last videos since one of our last videos where I went through uh, Bitcoin specifically and kind of showed you the different levels uh, that were built into the chart. Um, again, these are the psychological levels, kind of where the market said, okay, this is good for me. This is a good level. And that's what we built in. Uh, so right here in this yellow box on the lower left-hand side, you see that we had an area where the market kind of went sideways for a minute. It was a, a big... Uh, big spike then a smaller one and then it jumped up so what i did is i highlighted that area that area is significant because if we fall the exact same thing will happen over here so that's why you know i want you guys to be mindful we're up here right now we're literally at the top of uh the pyramid somewhere between thrill uh and complacency a little bit of anxiety so if this thing does indeed start to go down, it's going to settle out where it settled out before. Um, and that's right around that area. What price is that? Well, let's go and look at the chart. Um, that price, I believe, was somewhere around $1,800, but right below $2,100. Uh, and then it consolidates around $1,750. Uh, but one of the things I want you guys to know is this area in here uh, on the chart. And this was the unknown at the time when I when I made this chart. I didn't really know what was going to happen. I was just, you know, preparing for the best, uh, preparing for the best and preparing for the worst at the same time. Um, so what I did, you know, just to show you guys. So you see a purple line and a red line. Red line says judgment day, last possible day to reverse. Um, whereas the purple line is kind of the start of it. How did I get those two channels? Well, I took the beginning of this area, which is the blue line, and I took the last possible moment to fulfill this pattern, which is the red line. And in doing that, you know, you kind of get those two areas that we would fall into if this chart were to fulfill itself. So right away, you can see that uh bitcoin you know it went down for a while it came back and now it's really just sitting there and we have officially entered that area of the unknown um that was between the purple and the red line we haven't broken down yet we're still above um our entry point which is this yellow line but if we fall below uh that yellow line then the chart would have been fulfilled and that is a complete reversal at the top of the pyramid and we would be looking then to uh consolidate all the way down to those major areas of support one of them was right around 1400 another one was around 1800 so that will give you an idea but what we have right now and this is why you know we have this uh symbol right here this is what gives us the name of this video is i want you guys to be enlightened and illuminated to what is happening in the market. And how do we do that? We tell the market exactly um, how long we expect or we're willing to wait for it to do a certain action. And what we're doing right now is we're telling Bitcoin all right, you might not know what you're gonna do. We really don't know what you're gonna do, but we know it's gonna happen. 
you know, inside this window. <clears throat> and that window is seven days and 12 hours from the start of that pink line. So this is a 343 minute chart. Uh, right now, we know that Bitcoin has to make a decision by July 6th, 8 p.m. So this is what I'm telling you guys. Highlight that day, that time on whatever chart you use, July 6th, uh, 8 p.m. Because by that time, something's going to happen, right? By that time, something is going to happen. One of two things is going to happen. Either we're going to break down or we're going to break out. And if we break down, that means we have crossed below that red line right there. That will be an official breakdown and it will start our uh, bearish reversal all the way down to probably fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500. And this is not speculation. This is simply reading the charts and understand simple straight line geometry, the exact same thing I teach you in every video. Only thing I'm doing it now is I'm taking it a step farther to go all the way back to April and understand the relationship that's built into this last cycle we just had. So you can see uh, it's, you know, I didn't, I didn't go all the way back here uh, in the beginning of the video, but a lot of this information guys comes from, um, long before we had this last run. So the earliest piece of information I picked up was March 21st. You know, that blue line, that's going all the way back to March when this thing, you know, reversed for the first time and then it consolidated and now it's going to make a decision. So that's where we get our points and that's where we are sitting at right now is essentially on the other side of that time window and we're telling bitcoin right now by july 6th 8 p.m you're gonna tell me are you ready to break down are you ready to break out once it drops below uh i'm sorry this line right here this is our cell line this is our median line i apologize about that it's a little kid that's just screaming in this lobby right now so he's very distracting um so that's our baseline. This is kind of where uh, the middle of the channel set, where um, we started the reversal. So that's where, if we make it, where we will complete the reversal at. And then the high point up here was uh, the midpoint. Essentially, it formed like a big triangle. I had that in a, another video, but it's basically like one big triangle uh, that this thing formed and more or less tell, told us that a big reversal, a big shift uh, was pending in the charts. Um, and again, this was on uh, this other slide. It's better right there. That's kind of how it looks. So what I did on this, and I didn't want, you know, I don't want you guys to think I'm speculating. So I literally confirmed this thing like four or five different times and all of them were unrelated to each other. The blue triangle shows a reversal. The pink uh, two small triangles shows a potential reversal. Just the fact that consolidation, ge geometry, uh, consolidation, going back to March and drawing out those fractals, uh, you know, so it's about five different ways that all point to the same direction and that direction uh, ends or begins on July 6th. So now you can officially say that you are one of the enlightened to understand uh, what what's happening in the future. You know, this is what I want to do with you guys. I want to prepare you so that you're better prepared for the future and not so much reacting to it and so more so that you're empowered and not incapacitated. So that's what I try to do. And I think just by teaching you a few of the basic fundamentals of market psychology, um, buying and selling, you know, uh, the essential motivations and taking a step up and looking down at the market and saying, okay, we understand the complete picture. Now let's zoom in to one spot in time. That's all we did in this video. Um, that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to keep it real quick, real brief to the point. We are at a very critical and crucial spot uh, in time. It's going to be a lot of people saying Bitcoin is going down. It's going to be a lot of people saying Bitcoin is going up. It's going to be a lot of people saying still buy Ethereum. Don't do it. 
you know, if you own uh, Litecoin, that's okay, hold it. If you own Dash, that's okay, hold it. If you own Ripple, that's okay, hold it. Otherwise, you know, I think it's best just for now uh, to consolidate your risk because there is a, a, a uh, you know, probability, uh, 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 increasing probability that this whole thing uh, falls down from the inside out. So with that, you know, I appreciate your time uh, for this evening. If you, uh, uh, you know, thought this content was educational, um, if it helped you, just give this video a thumbs up. Uh, what that does, you know, it pushes us up in the algorithm. It lets a lot more uh, people join our community. If you're not a member of our Facebook group, you know, it's a great opportunity to learn together. I'm approving about 200 people a day. You can see we got uh, 800 uh, people, new people this week, 1,600 members all together, 26 members joining right now. Uh, it's called the number one Bitcoin group in the world. Uh, it's open to everybody, anybody in the crypto community, uh, jump on here and prove people all the time. Uh, in addition to that, I also have one-on-one uh, -on -one appointments available. A lot of people, you know, that's why I didn't do a video yesterday. I was literally on the on the on the phones, uh, almost two or three hours uh, talking with people, just trying to help them understand the market. The way you do that, uh, we have a link in the description. Uh, for one-on-one -on -one meetings, you just go, you click a day, you click a time that works best. Um, it will be a link from Calendly. So it will actually not be this website after, you know, you, this is just the website you uh, order a ticket on. You know, you pay $25 uh, for a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Uh, that's a deposit, you guys. That basically, you know, confirms your spot. I have limited availability. It's first come, first serve. And so this $25 more or less holds your spot. And opens my calendar to you. After you click checkout, you'll get an email that you click on. And from that, you actually pick the time uh, that you want to uh, get together. We do it by video. I walk through, you know, a couple charts with you and learn about learn about how, uh, you know, any experience you have. And it's, it's pretty informative. If you have not uh, joined our Facebook. It's a, a lot of people in the group that have done these classes with me. And I think, you know, I try to make it, I learn something, they learn something. And at the end of the day, we both leave empowered. I think as long as we can empower each other, we will be okay. And with this crypto game, it's a lot of money coming into the picture. You can see it's a hundred billion right now. And that's probably going to multiply by 10 inside of a few years. So, you know, as this market grows, hopefully our capability will grow. More people will come on board and in turn, we will be more empowered. Real quick, I wanted to, uh, everybody that's in the chat right now, if you could shout your country out. I know we got a few first timers rocking with us. So I wanted to uh, let them see that we do have a kaleidoscope of cryptographers, you know, on the chat right now. I think we got this YouTube telling me we got 165 people watching live on the air right now. So that's really, really cool. You guys, if you uh, wanted to shout your country out, I know we had uh let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me uh, throw, throw you guys up on the screen real quick. <clears throat> Here we go. So we had uh, Miami in the building, it looked like. Uh, Belandro. And now Illuminati confirmed. Right, right, right. I can't say words like that. I don't want YouTube to get mad at me. Um, so, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Who else we got? Who else we got? Uh, Chattanooga. BK is king. Saudi Arabia, West Texas, New Zealand, Zimbabwe, Australia. I need y'all. I need y'all to be positive. I need you guys not, uh, when I open this chat up, I really need you not to say anything too crazy because one of the things, I promise you, one of the things uh, we're doing is promoting positivity and we are keeping it as a global community. So with that being said, I appreciate your time this evening. If you appreciate me, you know what I'm saying? Do me a favor, subscribe, turn your notifications on. You know, I try to put out a video every day of the week where I'm helping you guys become empowered, educated, informed, and enlightened in this new world uh, we know as cryptocurrency. Um, if this video helped you, copy and paste the URL, text it to a friend so that it may help them as well. And when they come aboard, we too will welcome them with open arms. Uh, 
that's all I got for you guys. I appreciate your time this evening. Um, it's BK signing off. Um, no matter where you stay, uh, Brazil to the Bay. Good night, good morning, and good day. I'll see y'all next time. Take it easy. Peace.